So like any other tool, I think that the best way to learn a new technology is to join and interact with the community. And that motivated me to join the community. So the forums was uh, the best place and still is for learning new things. So whenever I had any issues or any problems, I just uh, talked to the people on the forum and they have provided me an answer. So I have also tried to reciprocate that kindness. So I'm also pretty active on the forums. I'm trying to connect with a lot of people. Uh, so I also like connect with other MVPs and they are always providing all the insights that I need. Uh, there are also many other tools. So uh, there are webinars from UFA, there are other workshops, there is also a community forum and those places help me with the uh, following the new features. So from what I saw, there is going to be an autopilot option and that we can use to develop workflows inside UFAD Studio. Uh, so there is a global search where we can use and basically type in our prompt and then the prompt will generate the feature, the activities, and it will also import the dependencies that we need. So I think that that is really cool and that is one of the places where I would really like to use the autopilot feature. Uh, using a Studio Web Browser is uh, really cool because we can use it uh, from any tool. So it, it doesn't matter if we are on a Windows, Linux or Mac, we can use Studio, Studio Web and we can deploy it on our environment. So uh, one additional thing is that we don't have to log in to like, our customer's uh, VPN, then connect to the VPN, then go to a server, then connect to another server. We can connect directly through our browser and it is a uh, much better user experience for the developers. I like to use Studio Webs initially as a starting point to automation because uh, uh, currently I'm using Studio Web for uh, automations that are uh, fully in the background and there is like an uh, autopilot option where you can type in and you can, uh, you can basically show your business users in a few minutes how automation can impact their businesses and how they can uh, automate their uh, business cases.